Hey everybody, this is Jim from the Edge of Tech right here at Murph 2021. And I'm Jim with Jim, and he's representing CME CNC. And this table is pretty dang awesome for a few reasons. But first, let's stop for a second. Who are you and what do you do? Well, I'm Jim Carter, and uh, I sell stuff on the internet. That's my daily job. There you I'm in go. the tire and wheel business. But okay. as a hobby, I, I do a little, little plastic pushing. So uh, years, <laughs> ago, years ago, I partnered up with the owner of CME CNC, Steve Wagon. Great guy, and um, you might have seen him. Has this giant tall print, yep, this yep. seventeen foot monstrosity. Yep. So, uh, so yeah. So I'm here today representing the company. Nice. And showing off some stuff, some some good stuff, some bad stuff, some really neat new stuff, yeah. and and some oddball stuff. Yeah, that is awesome. We'll, we'll get to that in one second because we need to talk about an upside down printer. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. But first, uh, you know, all these were printed on a CME CNC printer, right? Absolutely, yep, this, and, this and specific That's article. a Delta printer like this, yep. and it, it's a lot different than the printers that we see most of the oh, time. Yeah. Um, for people that might not know, tell them why is it different, what makes it right. different? Right, well, it's it's kind of scary when you when you go from this square Cartesian thing, right. and now you got all these arms and it's weird, and I don't know where X, Y, and Z are. Right. We, we name the towers, but they're not anything. They're just yeah. front, back, left, and right, right? Right, right. So the advantages with the Delta, I guess, in my opinion, is you gain accuracy because the bed is not moving. You're not moving uh, up and down on the Z, okay, okay. not moving forward and after sure, the Y, right? Sure. So you've got just your head moving. Right. So there's there's your accuracy. Plus with accuracy, you get speed, right? Okay. And your build volume is different. Now you're printing in a cylinder. Oh yeah, yeah. So you can still print a square in a circle. You just right. gotta know your boundaries. You just right? gotta know your boundaries because right. you could you could clip the edge if you're not careful. Plus well, the definitely. best the best thing about it it's just damn cool to watch. <laughs> it is very That's cool to thing. watch. When I have a, a, two years ago when we were here, uh, Steve gave me a Rostock Max V4, and I have it at home, it's built, and it, I love that thing when it prints. Um, so so what model is this? Because we're, because we're here, we're talking, I want to point this out, elephant in the room, this thing's printing upside down right now. He, he paused the print and flipped it upside down yesterday, and it's been printing upside down now. So uh, what, what model is this? <laughs> So this is the CMC Artemis. Okay. This was the first redesign after the Rostock series. Okay. So the Rostocks were all melamine, you know, cut out sure. boards, sure. put it together, heavier than hell. Yeah. And not that this isn't, but this is the first, you know, we've got an aluminum frame, yep. top and bottom. So you've got more structural rigidity. Sure. So when you are printing taller, narrower, and at faster oh, speeds, it's not gonna wobble yeah, and you don't have and, all this, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Because that's another thing people are afraid of. Well, it's right. it's not well, steady. Sure, I mean, it's, it's printing upside down. I'm pretty sure it's right. st it's sturdy, right? Right. So this was the first. <laughs> so it had a, a 500 plus mil height, nice. a 300 mil base, which is still the that's same as the awesome. Rostocks. Yeah, yeah. Right. But then they kind of morph this into a larger thing, the okay. Boss 500. So oh. now we're 500 by 500 oh, in a cylinder, right? That would be awesome. More thoughtful for you know commercial cool. things like that. Well, and then you get really cool things, like you can print really fancy like this. Absolutely. You, know? uh, you got your nice engine here that turns, right? Yeah. But then when things go uh, wrong, they go they wrong. They do, you they know? go wrong all the time. <laughs> it even happens to Jim. Because oh, yeah. I post all of these wonderful things, and people are like, yeah. you don't ever have any failures. Oh, but I do. <laughs> yeah, they, I do. When I fail, I that, fail the right way. That might be the coolest benchy I've seen. Yeah. The biggest uh, failed benchy I've ever yeah. seen, oh, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, it was just... Yeah. That should go in the Daniel Noré failed benchy at, like, this, museum. This, this actually has Mr. Noré's signature yeah, on it. I love it. There you go. All right, this, this took second place in the failed print contest. <laughs> nice. So, uh, very proud awesome. of that failure. Well, I, that is awesome. So, real quick, uh, you know, Thangs brought us here. Thanks so much, Thangs, for your sponsorship to come to MERV 2021. Also, Greengate 3D, and I see you got a roll right here. <laughs> uh, and I, I just happen to know, uh, is this the, the Purple Rain, right? Yeah, so yes. we, got the, we got the Purple Rain from Greengate 3D. I know you were printing with it. Let me, let you me, let me tell it? you about this, all right? Yeah. So I'm a salesman by nature. Sure. Okay. So I'm walking around yesterday, and I get back over there, and they've got these vases printed. Right. In the upper left-hand or upper right-hand corner is this. Yeah. I pick it up and I said to the woman, I said, how much? <laughs> yeah. I've never, I don't know the last time I, how much? Yeah. So, well, so when I printed this, we started this. Right. Okay. And went in vase mode, did a bunch of bottom layers so it was thick enough. Sure. So when it got to about here, I'm like, 
This ball is a print flip it upside down and see if it still sticks. Yep. So this is Pet G, but it's wet. It's wet. Welcome to, well, it's middle, wet in here. Welcome to Northern Indiana right, right. in 200% humidity, right? <laughs> right? So it doesn't look nearly like what their display shows. Sure. It still looks awesome. It looks awesome. And, and the layer adhesion is amazing on this stuff. Yeah. And it printed upside down. And I don't think that the camera would actually can actually pull no. the color of this in. No. But I, I have this at home. I, I ran some bases off in it as well. And like you said, it's it's very good layer adhesion. And this yeah. thing printed like, like this that. on your printer. You I'm know? walking and this morning to it just upside down. <laughs> it's so cool. Well, yep. that that is awesome. And that's the that's the Greengate 3D Purple Rain. If you're following us at home. But well, thanks so much. I really yeah, appreciate man, letting us sure. stop by. I'm glad you stopped out. This yeah, year. this Good is awesome, you, man. I, I'm I'm so pumped to be here and yep. everything you got. We got to get a close up of the the Benchy clock over here too because the Benchy clock's awesome. But so the reason I'm printing it upside down like this, oh, this yeah. is a Wham Bam flex plate. Okay. The plate's upside down. The PEX is on the magnet. Sure. The Gloop Boys A squared are working on a bed adhesion. Okay. Okay. So some people run nice. their the regular glue on the side. Sure. I think that's dumb. It doesn't yeah. make yeah, any yeah, sense. Yeah. Make the glue shit together. Right. So Andrew came over and we smeared some of this shit on there yesterday <laughs> and started that print. That's awesome. That's why I turned it upside down. Right. So this is a two mil thick wall square. Oh, There's man. no bottom. There's no bottom. And at huh? the end of it, there will be a solid sphere. Nice. We'll have to swing back so. and check that out too. Yeah, dude, for sure. Awesome. Thanks, guys.